Hello, this is a kinematic ball that I have created for Wonder. You can capture it and throw. This is a complex mechanism, it will require signal propagation, hierarchy change, etc. But let me show how I did it easily using GADEX, relying on data transformation. With EZS, for each mechanism there is a system. The ball mechanics we are watching here is composed by three mechanisms. The ball dynamics allow the ball to move and bounce around. Ball capturing endos the logic for the ball capture. Ball throwing endos the ball throwing. As it's logical to do, let's start with the first mechanism, the ball dynamics. Oh, and in the course of this video you will see the systems implemented with C++, but beware, the same principles apply to any other language, GDScript, C Sharp, Visual Script, etc. I am using C++ because for my game I chosen to use it to create the game logic. Let's start! The first piece of this puzzle is the ball dynamics. Since I need to synchronize this ball over the network, for me it's far more convenient to use the kinematic ball instead to rely on the physics engine using a rigid body. The ball dynamics is handled by the system process kinematic ball that using the query balls query fetches and moves all the entities that contains the components kinematic ball, transform component and doesn't contain disabled. Quick note, in ECS we don't operate on the object, so don't think about the features to implement in object-oriented way, where you create a thing just for a specific purpose, instead we operate on the components. If in future I'll need to make another thing to behave like this ball, for example a bullet, I can always assign the component kinematic ball to that bullet entity, so to make that bullet behave like this ball. This is a really important concept to understand because code reuse is one of the many features that ECS provides to reduce game code complexity resulting in a game performant easy to expand and maintain. This system is registered in the physics pipeline and when I start the game it allows the ball to bounce around. The next feature is the ball capturing and the system that handles the logic is the actor catch on touch. In Godex exists the concept of event. The system process kinematic ball has the ability to detect the collisions. When the ball hits an actor, it attaches the event component ball hit event. No, the event component is a special kind of component because it automatically disappears the next frame. Its purpose is just notify the events. The system actor catch on touch as the query it query that returns the entity if it contains the actor info, doesn't have the as ball component, isn't stunned as the component ball it event. These are the requirements needed for the actor to be able to capture the ball. Since the ball can be touched by many actors in the same frame, this piece of code makes sure to select just one actor per ball. This code instead performs the actual capture. It processes the pair actor entity and the ball entity. First it assigns the actor entity the component as ball, so it's marked as holding the ball. Second, the ball is disabled, so the dynamics is no more processed. Third, the ball mesh is set as hidden. That's the ball capture mechanism. Easy, isn't? Notice that the capturing mechanism is independent from the system that emits the event, that in this case is the process kinematic ball. The reason why this is so important is soon said. Let's suppose that in future I want to add a gun that shoots a net to capture the ball. I would add another system that will add the ball hit event to the actor that hits the ball with such gun. Even with this additional feature, the system actor catch on touch is already enough to handle the capture and I don't even need to change it. The system separation benefit is that I can add as many features as I need without modifying the existing one to fit the new feature, so the code base remains clean and well organized. Again, this is another ECS feature to keep the code base clean and easy to expand and maintain. Make sure to add this system to the physics pipeline, this is the result. The last piece of the puzzle is the throwing. As usual, we have another system that handles it, the ball throwing. 
This system has the local actor query that returns the local actor if it's not stunned and has the ball. This query is fetched only if the fire button, which is called primary action in this game, is triggered. I can fetch the input as usual using the input singleton but taking it from the input data. When we arrive at this point, the local actor has the ball and we just have to throw it. So we have to first take the ball entity ID that the actor is holding. To activate the ball, we have to remove the component disabled that we added on the capture system and at this point the ball is active. Now we need to teleport the ball on the actor viewpoint which is just the camera location and impress the throwing velocity. To do it we can just use the ball query fetching the specific ball and obtains its components. First we teleport the ball on the actor viewpoint location so we can assign the linear and angular velocity so it goes toward the camera minus z. Now we can make the ball mesh again visible. The last step is to unassign the ball from the actor by simply remove the as ball component. As usual, make sure this system is in the pipeline, so play. The feature is complete. Notice that the system actor catch on touch used to capture the ball and the ball throwing used to throw the ball have both queries like this. These queries are fetching the actor's entities only if their combat status allows it. For example, the ball can't be catched if the actor is stunned. So the gameplay logic is already coded in the query. It's not needed to add if conditions or things that blot the code. However, this is yet another easiest feature to keep the code base clean. But if you really desire it, you can still use the dear old if is stunned, but the code will be less sexy. For today, it's all. I showed how ECS keeps the architecture flat and easy to maintain using the concept of data transformation. I hope you enjoyed this video, but most important, I hope it was useful. Bye!